the two good buddies who were sales reps for uh, Johnson Johnson really wanted me to do the story, but I said, no, you know, it's too complicated. This is the Mark, the Mark that becomes the hero in the book, the real hero, okay. Right, Mark Duxbury, and so for, he kind of calls me every few months for three years uh -huh. until finally in 2007, I see that Congress and the FDA are holding huge public meetings about this drug, which is suddenly killing people. So I get on the red eye, I fly out there, and I realize, wow. Where's there? Where's there? Oh, Washington, D.C. Okay. To the meetings at yeah. the FDA and Congress. Oh, and so you're going to the actual... Uh, to see this national scandal unfolding right before my eyes. Uh -huh. And that's when I realize, wow, you know, here's a personal narrative that can drive the story forward and behind the scenes into this national scandal. Uh -huh. And uh, it wasn't a scandal I was interested so much in as how the drug companies work. Well, because something like 150 million of us are on prescription drugs, and we know very little about what goes on behind the scenes. You know, how is it sold? How is it made? What's the... Well, that's what, uh, that opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. are, those, are all of those, those Ill, e evils that happen in the business, they're still going on in some ways, aren't they? I they, mean, they maybe still? not specifically. Procrit or EPO or well, uh, actually, specifically with Procrit and EPO, that drug is still on the market, even though studies have shown that 17 percent of subjects have died from this drug. And just in June, the end of June, the FDA announced that everybody should do anything they can to get off this drug. But yet, the FDA hasn't pulled the drug off oh. the market. So but it's very it, hard for uh, patients to find out about about this, and I get email all the time uh -huh. asking about it. But I mean that. Because as I remember, what happens is there's the, the pill, but they stepped, they kept on making it more powerful all the time without getting the approval of the FDA. Is right. that right? Yeah. And another fun thing about producing this book or having it be on the shelves right now is that the lawsuit, the whistleblowing case, is still going on. Oh, that's what I want to get to. Yeah, Good. we're right in the middle of it. So and, uh, and, and now uh, Schlickman is 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 he still on board? Is he still? Yeah, he's very much on board. He's pressing the case, Jan Schlickman, and the case is right now unfolding in U.S. District Court in Boston. In Boston. So I'll be flying back there at the end of this year to watch, you know, hopefully the end of it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But the trial itself, after eight years, still has not happened. Really? And so it's sort of, you know, you talk about torture, how long it takes for a whistleblower to get his or her case uh -huh. to trial.